This video is called Cutting Plans and Sections, and it's the sixth video in Chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, a section in SketchUp is kind of a, a, an interesting uh, thing. There's nothing that really exists like a section in real life, but sections are incredibly important tools for you to be able to get inside, basically look inside or cut away part of the thing that you're actually building. And people use sections both to work on the inside of things and they use sections to show the inside of things or hide parts of things um, from their audience when they're presenting. So without further ado, let's talk about sections. Okay, to create a section, all I have to do is go to the tool menu and choose section plane right there. Okay, when I choose section plane, I get this big funny cursor. You notice how it's this giant green uh, rectangle. Actually, I guess it's kind of a square. It's actually going to change um, shape depending on when you have it. Right now that it's kind of loose, it's a square, but you'll see that it kind of turns into a big rectangle after I place it. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just dragging this green rectangle thing uh, around the model, and it's kind of uh, snapping to different planes. Notice how when it's on this slanted roof, um, it's actually slanted itself. Down here, it's also slanted. Over here on this wall, it's kind of facing off to the left. On this wall, it's sort of facing off to the right. And if I kind of put it on this, hover over this round chimney thing, you see how it's kind of spinning? Because it's always facing uh, the surface that you have it hovering on. Okay, ready? This is going to be quick. I'm going to cut a section on this side of my house. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to click. And what I've done is I've created this big giant section plane. See how it's a big kind of orange rectangle like I said it would be? and the end of my building's gone just like that and I can see that end of the building but this building's gone what I've got to do or I should say this end of the building's gone I'm gonna grab the move tool at this point because what I want to do is move this section plane um, let's just move this section plane I'm gonna click on it and then just move it and you notice what's happening you see how part of my model is being cut into with that section plane right there now the important thing to realize is it's not actually disappearing. If I move this out of the way, I've still got the house there. But if I let's zoom in some, just like this, as I move the section plane back and forth, I'm actually cutting through the house as I move through here. Okay, it's a pretty important concept to understand. Let's um, get it to a good spot. That's kind of a good spot, sort of through a doorway. There we go. And there's my section plane. What I've done is I've actually placed that section plane this is kind of an object in SketchUp. It's kind of a strange thing. It's an entity, sort of like a guide or an edge or a face is, but it's a, I guess what I would call a construction entity. It doesn't really show up if you, um, it's not part of your model. It's kind of a, a thing that you place in your model to help you model and show off your model, if that makes any sense. Okay, once we've got that section plane on there, um, it's kind of ugly. So what I want to do is kind of hide that section plane. What I'll do is go up to the view menu and deselect this section planes thing there. So what I don't want to be able to see is the section plane that I just created. What I do want to be able to see is what's called the section cut, which is the cut that the section plane created. I hope that makes sense. If I go up to the view menu and deselect section cuts, the cut actually goes away. And then if I go to view and say section planes, and now I can see the section plane, but not actually the cut that it's producing. So in using those two things in combination, you can choose to watch the planes or the cuts or no planes and cuts or no cuts and planes. It's kind of up to you, okay? But the general premise is that section plane, once I've changed or placed it, um, it's actually creating this section cut effect right there on my model. Let's get another section plane. I'm going to go up to Tools and go to Section Plane. And this one I'm going to cut this way, okay? And I'm going to use the Move tool to move it over some. Let's move it. I'm cutting through the building this way now. What I want to actually do is cut through the stairs. So there we go. Okay, now you'll notice what I have in my model is two section planes. I've got this one that's kind of gray and this one that's orange. And you'll notice that the gray one is no longer cutting anything. You see how it's kind of not cutting through the house? It's just sort of placed there. Now if I go up to view and say hide my section planes, uh, they both disappear, but the active section cut is the one from the section plane that was orange, if you notice that. Okay. You can only, in general, have one active section plane at a time in a SketchUp model. There is an exception to that, but I'm not going to go into it. 
what I'm going to do is right click. Let's say I wanted this section plane, the one that's gray right now, that was cutting through the house this way. Let's say I wanted that to be my active section cut instead. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose active cut from the right click menu. And when I do that, it changes and all of a sudden that section plane is orange and the other one is gray. Let's swap back. I'm going to say active cut. And so my cut is changing depending on which section plane is selected. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this section plane, the first one that we created. I'm sorry, the second one altogether. So let's just delete that. And we're working with one section plane again. Now, let's say I wanted to keep this section plane, but what I want to see is the other half of the house, the part of the house that's kind of being cut away by that right now. I don't have to create a brand new section plane. I'm just going to right click on the existing one and go reverse. And when I do that, it reverses the direction of the section cut, and now I'm looking at the other half of the house, the stuff that I had cut away with, the first, with it the first time. So let's go to reverse, and now I'm looking at that half. And it's kind of that simple. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that section cut, and I'm going to create another kind of section cut. This is called a plan cut. So let's go to tools. It, it's made in exactly the same way. I'm going to pick section plane, but instead of hovering anywhere on the model, I'm just going to hover on the ground so that that section cut is going to be completely flat, just like that. And then I'm going to get my move tool to move this up just like that. I'm going to move it up 48 inches, which is four feet. It's kind of an architectural convention in North America to cut plans at four feet. Let's go up to view and section planes and deselect that. And now what I'm able to do is kind of see inside my house. And this is great because this is the view I would use to start throwing in furniture and stuff like that. So I'm going to use that section plane that I just created. This section cut allows me to see this floor um, really easily so I can kind of throw stuff in it. If I wanted to work on, let's say, the second floor, I would uh, show that section plane again. I grab the move tool and just kind of move this up to the second floor like that and maybe hide the section plane again. And now I can work on the second floor if I wanted to. I could put some furniture in here, okay? I hope that makes sense. Let's see if there's anything else that I forgot to cover in this section. Um, nope, I believe that is exactly what I wanted to talk about. Okay, that concludes the video on adding section planes to your model for chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.